Hello, my name is Lucas Coelho, and today I'm going to be demonstrating my Rubens tube. Now essentially, this is a six foot long metal tube that some friends and I built, and we drilled many holes across the top. And on one end, we're going to pump in propane. And along the other end, we attached a speaker. And the idea is that frequencies produced by the speaker will produce pressure variances within the gas in the tube because of the sound waves. This will cause higher and lower flames depending on the shape of the sound wave. So the sound wave will literally be modeled in standing flames. Now I have used this experiment to help show and teach some science and chemistry to 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. The gas is turned on. Let's light up the Rubens tube. Now let's do a sweep from 40 to 50 hertz in 3 seconds. Now let's do a sweep from 50 hertz to 200 hertz in 3 seconds. Now you can clearly see how the height of the flames change depending on the frequency of the sound waves. So now let's put some music through this. Now, heavy percussion and lower frequencies affect the flames much more, so I chose a dubstep song titled I Can't Stop by Flux Pavilion. I hope you have enjoyed 
my experiment with the Rubens tube. I hope you'll consider me for the Robertson application. Thank you.